this race starting to peak up towards the top end of the grid. Fight continues and drama. That's at the top of Conrod Strait. Uh, number 69, that's Tony Virag. So that's the car that went 13th place that we were talking about. He spun the big HSV VE GDS at the top of the hill. He'll share this car with Jeremy Gray, well-known production car and V8 Ute racer and Warren Millett of Wake Up Backpackers fame. It's a pretty good combination, but Tony's struggling to get that car turned around. The important thing we'll mention now is that you don't want to go a lap down this early stage of the race. And Wade Scott in the CXC Global car has got some bonnet pins that have come undone on the CXC Global Evo. And he's going to have to do a full lap looking through a pretty small window to try and get himself back to pit lane. And that car was scored in 16th position. And there's some missing bodywork just located on the racetrack. Disappointment there for Wade Scott with Duncan Hanley this weekend. They qualified very, very well as well and have been having quite a uh, successful weekend so far to date. But that certainly turned around now with the issue for them. And you can see there a bit of bodywork right on the line, pretty much going out of Forest Elbow there at the moment. So fairly big. And there's the shot. Look at that. That's not a place where you want to have the, the bonnet pins there fail. Now, they've, they've hit something there, Brian. They've got more yeah. damage than just the bonnet pins coming undone. Look at the yeah. drama on the front. So he's collected another car. Awesome wildlife, and it's uh, caused quite a lot of front-end damage, and it doesn't look like it's tracking straight either. So he's done the right thing by pulling right out of the way, the fastest point of the racetrack, but, gee, very, very difficult to get back to pit lane, and there's a lot of damage on the front of that. Doing well to stay off the racing line there as well, heading down the chase, and then the subsequently coming out there as well, he's going to try and get as far as he possibly can towards the left-hand side of the circuit at the moment and then hopefully bring that car back towards the pits. But as I mentioned, it's been running well so far this weekend, part of the three-car operation this weekend for the CXC Global team and now brings that underneath the Hitachi Bridge and will bring it into the High Tech Oils pit lane. I've always wondered, Richard, whether or not you could accelerate quickly and then step on the brakes to actually flip <laughs> it down. I think it just come up again and look at this causing some dramas mm. for cars trying to enter pit lane. Won't be drama when they get to the 40k zone, but there's just nothing Mr. Scott can do with this situation. He's just got to limp back into the lane and get it to the well-drilled crew at CXC Global Racing. I don't know why this guy's waving his arm, because I don't think he'll be able to see him. <laughs> He's doing very well. A nice job, actually, to get it into, uh, into the lane there, of course. Just holding up the GWS personnel, the number 26 BMW here this weekend. That team very experienced in endurance racing, particularly up here at Mount Panorama. I think they were trying to motion to get that car into the garage, but uh, obviously didn't do it. Here's a look. Ah, so we put one and one together and get 15, and the reason the HSV was spun up at the top of the mountain was because it was drilled by CXC Global Mitsubishi going down the inside. So contact, side-by-side -side contact, done a lot of damage to that really squeezed hard so the broken windscreen would have been from the bonnet flying up when that contact broke the bonnet pins on the car and him going down Conrad straight obviously the bonnet flew up in the breeze but a lot of damage caused after what looked like pretty light contact between those two up at the elbow that explains why the HSV was pointing the wrong way and Tony Virag 50-50 hmm, that one I think I'll leave that to race control to make judgment Benny because that's a tough call well, he's pushed it in there, and I've also got another car. I'll just come back to that at the moment. Uh, number 85 stopped on the way up to the cutting. Uh, car number 85 on the way to the cutting. The Kirkham's, Kirkham's. MX6.